In this video, I will explain the entire concept of custom fields within the Pabli email marketing software. Sometimes you want to import your email list which includes some other data apart from emails, names and few other details. Those other details can actually be stored inside the custom field data. For example, if you see this email list, this includes an email address of the person. It includes the name of the person. It also includes the gender of the person in the custom email field. It also includes the city of that person and it includes the subscribe date of the person when he subscribed to this email list. In some case, if you also want to include the country of different subscribers, you can basically create another custom field which says that the country is also a custom field. So to create a custom field, you can just click on this specific button and you can go and move over to the custom fields option. As you can see, I have already created a custom field by the name of country and this custom field can actually be inserted inside an email template by using uh, this country tag within the curly braces. Okay. Uh, if you want to add another custom field, you can just simply click this add custom field button and by clicking this button, you can basically see a pop up appearing right here and you can write another custom field for your subscribers. For example, uh, just in case if you want to have a phone number of your subscribers, you can just write a custom field by the name of phone. If you want to include this phone data inside your email template, you can reference that data by just calling this specific tag while creating an email. Okay. Let me just go back and I'll just import an email with a phone number now. So I'm going to just click on add subscribers. If you want, you can add a subscriber list with phone numbers in it using a CSV file or if you want, you can also include and add emails manually. In this case, I'm going to add some emails manually. Okay. So I'm just going to import name, email and phone number. I'm using and referencing this phone because I have already created this custom field. Uh, the name of the person is John Delavera. The email is john at gmail.com. And his phone number is 987-789-7890. Okay. So this is his phone number. I'm just clicking on the import subscribers button. And basically I'm just mapping the field now. I just mapped name by the name. I just mapped email by the email. And you can now see that there is another custom field phone appearing right here. So I'm just selecting the phone custom field and I'm just importing the subscribers. It is the saying that subscribers you're trying to import already exist in the main or suppression list. It seems that since it is a big account, which I usually use, uh, <coughs> all the typical emails are already added, but I'm trying, I will try to add another email now. So name, email and phone. So, I'm just using another email, John Hollows at gmail.com and phone number is 890-876-6789. Okay. I'm clicking on import subscribers. I'm mapping the field again. And I'm just mapping the phone number by the phone number field. I'm clicking on import subscribers and it says your subscriber list is imported successfully. Okay. So now you can see John Hollows at gmail.com is also included in the email list along with the phone custom field and his phone custom field can be seen right here. Now at the time of sending the email, you can simply use the phone tag in curly braces. For example, if you want to send the phone number of this person, I just uh, in the subject line, you can simply write I just I just called you on 
phone number. So basically by typing this specific title uh, in the subject line, what it will do is it will replace the phone number of this person uh, by the data that is inside the subscribers list. Okay, you can use the same tag inside any of the content data right here. For example, if you want to add up any personalization tag within the content, you can click this here and you can select phone and you can just save. So the phone number will automatically be included inside this email right here. So I guess the custom field option uh, you might have already understood now. Just in case if you have any questions, you can email us or you can uh, get in touch with our support through the live chat team right here. Okay, so thank you for watching this video.